Oklahoma football. Our special teams making a difference here early for Alabama. They'll come from the OU 40. Tyler Watts pulls back, looks underneath, dropped. Third down and five faces another third down against this great OU defense. Offensive line really doing a job. Dropped again. I will tell you, if the receivers hold on to some tough passes, Alabama can move. This is a 52-yarder. And this time, OU swallows it. And he goes out as one of the receivers and watch rolling free through very high. So Oklahoma can take heart in the fact that Bama dominated, but no touchdowns. High and incomplete. Bearden is punting and Perkins who return a bad snap. Another mistake on a special team. He'll kick it out for the safety. This one. Second down, that inside shuttle pass. Takes it away from Griffin, running to the right. He is cut off, hit on the release, and it is cut for a first down. How about that catch down there? Mark Clayton and Fagan were working in the area, and Fagan made the catch. Well, this was a prayer. This one could have been caught by anyone. Anyone in Crimson. Could have been one of his own guys in Crimson, or it could have been Bama in Crimson, because on the bootleg coming out to the wide side, Jason waits a little too long, and then he gets in trouble. He gets closed very quickly by the defensive back, throws it up for grabs, and then Bacon goes up and says, I I I'm the athlete here. I'm going to go get it. Wayne Bacon almost got there for Bama. Hit him on the release, but it's a first down OU inside the 35-yard line. Going in zone. Just going to throw it up on Bolden. The ball gets up in the air. It's slightly underthrown. There's a little hand to hand combat. Marshall Benson falls down. That's a big difference in this football game. Three drops so far for Alabama. They come back with the draw play, and I believe that's Beard and outstanding coaches. Second down and 16. Tyler Watts. Nothing doing. It's intercepted. Straight's got it to the six yard line. Bad judgment on that throw. And Derek Strait, the junior from Austin, Texas, makes him pay. I think you got to give this one to Tommy Harris, Brent. I think the rush inside hit Tyler Watts' arm as he let it go. I don't know if it was Harris or not, but it was push inside. Let's assume Watts comes in. Let's see who it is. Yes, I think that's Tommy Harris, number 97. That ball just floats up, and then Derek Strait, the playmaker, who seems like he's been here forever and is now just a junior. The way things are going, we'll have either a touchdown or a block punt. <laughs> Perkins is back deep. Bearden hangs one. He's got it at the 25. Slips here in the middle, looking daylight, still going. What a great return by Perkins, who nailed a touchdown against Tulsa in the OU opener last week. Lane Bearden forced to make the tackle. Well, we think so much about Antonio Perkins that we put him on our starting lineup as the third corner. He plays in the nickel. He had four punt returns last week against Tulsa for 112 yards, and that's not counting the 58-yard TD that was called back. One of the best athletes on the team. In fact, we were talking to the offensive coaches, and they said... Set to give OU some field position. Go and return. Drives him inside the 30. Dances to the right, and here he comes. By the shirt tail. Sprinting is Hibble. Wide open is Savage. And Savage muscles his way. This Bama team's got two solid fronts, like we said at the top of the broadcast. Here's Hibble. First down at second down. Um, coaches weren't sure about putting him in this game. Is that inside shovel pass? Here's that running game with Beard. Big hole. Antonio Beard spins. Fumble. Did they mark it down? No, OU's got the fumble. Beard fumbles. Lehman race back. 
and made the recovery on it. And Beard is arguing that he was down. I think you can see that, that uh, he thinks the ground caused that fumble, but no avail. But yeah, man, we've got no instant replay here. So does the Franchoni feel he was down. Good blocking by that Alabama line this time. Lehman gets cut off, can't get there. Now the hit in the secondary, he spins. Boy, I think he's got a point. Working with half a field. Hibble keeps it clean, going deep down the sideline. Got it. Scores for the second time today. Inside handoff. Galloway's eaten up by Lehman. Sprints to the right. Fires high. Incomplete. There's Bassey. Look for him to blitz. Here he comes. Setting the screen, almost intercepted. Hibble from the gun. Got him open. First down. All the timeouts left. First down, two would stop the clock. Hibble has got the first down and wide open as the DB goes down. And Clayton makes a move, spins, reaches to the one yard line. Oh, once the DB went down. It was Hello Greengrass, 38 yards. Well, Carl Torbush that time gambled. He came after Oklahoma, he came after Oklahoma with a six-man rush that time. He sent the backers inside, one-on-one -on -one to the outside, but they didn't go bump and run. And look at it. Watch it inside. Cross inside by the linebackers, and boy, right away, Hibble says, oh, I like this. Linebackers coming, one-on-one -on -one to the outside, and Clayton is just a natural when he gets his hands on the ball. Gets his hands on the ball. He says, I'll just stop this time. Turn the other way. And almost hit number three. Going to be a sneak, isn't they it? They show the power eye behind Carter. Hibble into the top. Touchdown. Hibble behind Vince Carter for the touchdown. There's the draw play. And it is eaten up that time. Sprint. High incomplete. They need to reach the 15-yard line. Watts, middle, incomplete. Yeah. Nate Hibble looking for the open man. Right at the first down marker that time. Clayton will lined up. This was a touchdown. They're going to hand it off. First down and almost broken by Jones. With the ball at the OU 26. On first down, incomplete. They stop the clock, second and ten. What do you think about that call, Gary? Five, ten to go. Watts in trouble. Down at the 32-yard line, Pasha Jackson. Will they come back after Tyler Watts now one more time? They show three down linemen. They're coming at him from the corner. Can't get there, but they... They're 80 yards away, and they must score a touchdown. Inside, shuttle pass. Ronaldo works, looking for daylight. Ronaldo works out to the 44-yard line and out of bounds. He's a speed burner, 24 yards. In fact, when we talked to the coaches yesterday, they said that works is really the only back with breakaway speed, the long speed. Here's the shuffle pass inside. Works gets it. Cuts back very smartly this time. And then his speed allows him to get around the corner to the outside for a, the biggest play of the second half for Oklahoma. Got him. Reaches for the first down. Oh, I'll tell you, Brett, Alabama has not backed up. They're not in a prevent. Because of this. And works with his speed. Breaks free again and still going. Needs a block. Down the sideline, inside to the seven yard line. Ronaldo works, makes the perhaps the biggest play of the game. 39 yards for Oklahoma as he came down the sideline and then crashed back across the 10. And OU will take a timeout. 
The second shovel pass, huge shovel pass. This time it was defended very well, at least positionally, by Alabama, but no one could come up with the tackle. And work showed that the coaches were right. He's got the fastest breakaway speed of the team, and he almost broke it away all the way. Very easy shovel pass. This should have been stopped. This should have been defense. Look at three guys right there that could have made this play. But he runs away from three, cuts back, and boom down the sideline for a huge play. And the offense will huddle up on the sideline. Jones is the running back. Yeah, Keywan Jones is in there. Here comes Jones. Touchdown. Oh, Oklahoma who takes the lead. There's still plenty of time left. Ronaldo works, led the way. Kiwan Jones, the redshirt freshman from Jenks, Oklahoma. One of those schools that plays great, great high school football down here in this area. Takes it in for the touchdown and puts the Sooners ahead. Same play that Oklahoma ran on the fourth and inches with Jones. Here's Watts. Tried to step away from the pressure. And he's brought down at the 20 by Pasha Jackson. Incomplete. Harris moves over to the offense's left this time. Second down and 10. He's double teamed, got no chance, and the pass is complete. 30-27. Last 36 seconds down. Got out of one. Hand picked up. Oklahoma will win it. Touchdown, Eric Bassi. The ball got away from Tyler Watts. A heartbreak for a young man who played so bravely here today. The ball slipped out of Tyler Watts' hands as he went to throw it. And guess who? It wasn't Roy Williams, but it's the guy that replaced Roy Williams. Eric Bassey was in the right place at the right time. Picks it up, takes it for the touchdown. The Oklahoma's rushing game as down he goes at the 25. This young man has the play of the day. And there it is, Oklahoma. Wins it by 10. 37-27.